The Premier has spent the second last day of the campaign dodging questions about government money for Indian mining company Adani, while Anastasia Palaszczuk has repeatedly promised Adani won't get any direct taxpayer assistance for the Carmichael coal mine. She couldn't rule out road funding. While the Treasurer took care of today's heavy lifting, the Premier preferred something softer. Hello. <laughs> Hello. She cozied up to animals at Australia Zoo, promising more than $100,000 for a wildlife hospital. But friendly critters are easier to handle than continued questions about her promises to mining giant Adani. It's commercial inconfidence. The Premier hasn't ruled out helping Central Queensland councils upgrade roads for Adani's planned Carmichael mine. The state government has negotiations with councils about all of their various council roads. There is no taxpayers' funds going directly to the Adani mine, full stop. Anastasia Palaszczuk has been flip-flopping on this issue ever since day one. Tim Nichols is critical of the Premier's actions but has promised to stand by any prior agreements. If there's a signed contract between the state of Queensland, we're not going to risk Queenslanders paying even more money as a result of breaching a signed contract. Adani has proven to be one of the election's most controversial issues, but sometimes in campaigns there's one thing both parties can agree on. Queenslanders have a clear choice. Think about that choice. There's a very clear choice. I think she's saying there's a clear choice. With just one day left, campaign brain is setting in. Pauline Hanson visited the southeast seat of Tui without her One Nation candidate. Well, we don't have one in the seat. Yeah. Oh, the border must be, boundary must be a close hit. Who's the candidate here? I couldn't tell you who the candidate is in Tui. In case you're wondering, it's this man. Um, my name's Victor Zhang. I'm the one nation candidate in the Tui. 61 candidates. I won't apologise that I don't know everyone's name. Tim Nichols has rounded out this regional blitz with a unifying message for voters vowing to cut the cost of living pressures. They've been bold promises accompanied by even bolder media stunts. The Premier will finish her campaign in the southeast. Have you been naughty or not? I've been very nice. That's I have good. been very, very nice. <laughs> but who will get the early Christmas present? Josh Bavis, ABC News.